Today I'll be showing you guys how to fade audio in and out in Premiere Pro in the easiest way. Now of course the first step is to have a project open and make sure your audio clip is there. Then you're going to want to select the audio clip that you want to fade in and out. Once you've selected the clip, go over here to the top left and make sure it's clicked onto effect controls. If you can't see effect controls up here, go up to the top where it says window, click that and then make sure effect controls is checked. Now once you've opened up effect controls, go over here where it says volume, click the arrow next to it to open these options. Once you've opened up these options, you're gonna wanna make sure that the stopwatch next to the level is blue. If it's not blue and it's showing like it is right here where it's just white, just simply click the stopwatch and then it'll be blue. Now once you've done that, we're ready to start fading our audio. Now if you wanna fade in your audio, it's really easy. Just go to the point in the clip where you want the audio to reach its maximum level. So for example, if you want a two second audio fade you're gonna go two seconds into the clip also when you move the scrubber on the timeline you also see that right here it moves too so anyways put it to the spot where you want the audio to reach the maximum level so as you can see I'm two seconds in so that'll be a two second audio fade then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to level and where it says 0, 0.0 decibels you're gonna click on the number and then type in negative 55. You could type in any number below negative 55. So like for example, negative 60 would work, negative 600 would work. They all have the same effect. I just find negative 55 to be typed to the fastest because when I'm editing, I wanna go as fast as possible. So once you've typed that in, just click off of it and then it'll be set. Once you've done that, you'll see the small diamond appear right here. That's called a keyframe. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna drag this all the way to the left because that keyframe is silent audio and you want it going from, of course, silent, all the way to the regular volume. So once you've dragged it over to the left, you can now type in zero or whatever it was originally. And now as you can hear, it's faded in. So anyways, that's how you fade audio in. And to fade audio out, it's pretty much the same thing, except it's kind of backwards. So just go to your clip and then find the spot where you want the audio to start turning down. So once again, for example, if I want a two second fade, I'll go back two seconds. So once you've found the mark where you want the audio to start turning down, you're gonna go to level, type negative 55 or anything below that. Press enter, you'll see this diamond up here. Drag it all the way to the right. And then while your timeline scrubber is still there, go into the level number, click that, type in zero, and then you're good to go. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. I hope this tutorial did help you out. If you got confused on any part, then be sure to comment down below. I'll be more than happy to respond to your questions and or problems. So yeah, guys, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below if this did help you out. And I will see you all in my next video. Peace out, everybody.